Okay, so to put the amp kit together and the speakers and the stereo kit here, I already have the fairing off. I'm not going to show you that part. We already have videos already on how to take the fairing off. So the first thing we're going to do is take the speakers out. These are four millimeter Allen wrench. Should just go in there and take those out. One thing you notice is on the Allen wrench, we have the swivel, that ball end. I've talked about this before. It allows you to go different angles here to get those bolts out. If you don't have that, that's probably something you're going to want to get just because it makes, especially this bolt right here and the other one up in the top, it makes them a little bit easier to get to. And if you notice, these speakers, these are already aftermarket speakers. These are kickers. These are the Victory upgraded speakers. Um, sound okay, but they don't do much over stock. If you watch our video on the speakers that we sell, um, we kind of show you how much better our sound over these night and day. So now that that's out, just kind of finagle this out. It's going to be a little bit hard to see here, but you got to pull the wires off the back. Okay, so we pull the wires off the back. So one thing I'll show you here, like I say, this is a kicker speaker. This is the uh, upgraded Victory one. I'll show you kind of a comparison because you might be saying, what's the difference? Why are, why are we switching that? This is the aftermarket, the kicker. This is your stock speaker, okay? Now I'm no speaker guru, but what it is, is this the size of the magnet back here. Okay, you can see this is puny. That's a little bigger than a quarter. This is probably a half dollar size. The magnet is kind of what gives you the power. The also, also, the other thing is the quality of the material in, in here. When you see marine grade or not marine grade, generally it's this material in here. Cheaper speakers are paper. They can get wet, they'll tear. Also, when you blow a speaker, it's because you put too much power to it. And this, um, when, the, when the stereo is playing, this is actually moving up and down, okay? If you put too much power, you'll tear that paper and then the speaker sounds like crap. So higher quality speakers have better material in here and also the material is kind of like a plastic material so it doesn't get bothered by the water. Now that doesn't mean you can put a pressure washer on it but it's just for rain. So this is a stock speaker. This is the upgraded um, kicker speaker. Now just as a comparison, this is our speaker. This is an Alpine speaker. It's a 170 watt speaker. I'm not even sure if this even tells me what watt these are, these kickers. Most of them are around 50 watt. That's usually a pretty good um, upgraded speaker. Ours are 170, so it tells you the quality difference. Also look at the magnet. You don't even realize, but this whole thing is the magnet. So when you compare the difference, that's why they're so much better. That's why they're so much power, more, have so much more power. If you go to a six by nine or, or a bigger speaker, yeah, you'll get more bass, you'll get more power, but we are looking at keeping it simple for people. We're giving customers what they want. Most of our customers tell us they just want a good speaker, good sound, easy installation. One thing you see here, this little capacitor, this is called a bass blocker. What that does, and the high grade speakers have that, what that does is that blocks the bass from coming in this part. This is your tweeter. This is the highs, the cymbals, the cracks of the cymbals. This is the highs and the high mid-ranges come out of here. This part around here is the bass or the lows and the mid-lows. That comes out of this part. What you don't want is you don't want this big, the basses coming out of the tweeter, out of the highs, then it gets distortion. This bass blocker is what stops that from happening. It will not let the, the lows go into the high part. So that's the difference. Again, high quality plastic material here to not have any problems with rain. Huge magnet, base blocker. That's why our stereo system far superior, is far superior to anything else on the market. Um, so that's just a little speaker explanation and you can kind of see them side by side here on the differences. You know, stock, 
Victory Aftermarket, and then ours. That's why they're so much better sounding. So now that we have that taken apart, we'll go around, we'll do the other speaker. So we need to get that out of there. Normal time for something like this to hook up from the time you take the fairing off, um, if you've never done one before, you really shouldn't have more than a couple hours tops, and I'm, and I'm talking that's having a beer at the same time. You really shouldn't have any uh, trouble doing this. It's, we've made it that easy. We've engineered it to be that easy for you guys. So take the bolts out. Take the speaker out. Pull the wires off the back, and that's all we're going to do up here for right now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back and show you how to do the amp and everything. Okay, so what first thing you're going to do, we're going to stick the amp in. It just goes right here. Make sure you kind of tuck your wires out of the way. This, by the way, is your antenna. So if you want to put a hidden antenna on your bike, you just unplug that, plug the hidden antenna in there. So just kind of tuck some of these wires out of the way. The amp's going to bolt right in here. We give you the screws. You can tighten those up. If you want to put a little blue Loctite on them, you can. Not really needed, but if you want to, you can. Go ahead and tighten those up all the way. Next thing you're going to want to do is on the back of the speaker box, there's a grommet. We need to pull these wires out. Just kind of dig that grommet out. Just watch you don't, you know, stab into the wires. Pull your speaker wires out. Okay. Now the one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut that grommet. You're going to want to cut this grommet off of here. So just take a razor blade, razor knife, whatever you got, and just cut down through. Just be careful you don't cut into the wiring. Okay, so we want to reuse that. So take that off. Do the same on the other one. Okay. So now you're going to take your uh, little jumper harness labeled input. You're going to plug it into the input. You can do it first or last, whatever, but it's going to plug into the input on the top. You have left speaker and right speaker. Left speaker and right speaker is sitting on the bike. So the right side is going to be over here. So you're just going to plug these in. They're different size. They're just going to plug right in. Now what you can do, I won't do it right now, but what you can do when everything's done, if you want to wrap a little electrical tape around there, it's a good idea to keep that from vibrating out because a lot of times we find these connectors on bikes, like you can see the plastic housing is missing on this. Guys have changed this out a couple times, done different things, and um, the terminals get um, a little bit looser. So to keep that from vibrating out, and like this one, like I say, there's no plastic housing. Somebody's already broke that off of there. So you can just wrap a little bit of electrical tape around there. Okay. So that's all there is to hooking that up. You're going to plug that in up here. You want to make sure you plug it in until it, you know, it kind of snaps. You can kind of hear it snap. And you can route these later. We can, we can tuck all these down and zip tie them together later. But that now hooks up the factory stereo to the amp. That's what we did right there. The next thing is hooking up the actual speakers. 
So you can see left speaker, right speaker. This is going to plug in underneath in the speaker slot. Kind of hard to see upside down here. Okay, plug that in. Right speaker is going to go into the right speaker um, box. You're going to take your grommet and you're going to put your grommet on. Make sure you put it on the right way so it goes this way. If you put it on this way, it's going to be backwards. Just slide that over the wire and just slide that in there for now. You don't have to worry about hooking it all up. We're just going to hook that. That's going to hook to our speaker. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. I don't know where I just set my grommet. We're going to set that into there. So now we have basically hooked up our stereo to the amp, the amp to the speakers. The last thing we need to do is we need to hook up, here's our grommet, so we're going to put that grommet on, okay. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the power harness. This just plugs in again underneath, put it into what snaps. Now you're going to kind of route this whatever way is easy for you. We kind of tuck it down through the bracket here. And I'm not going to hook it all up. Like I say, we can zip tie this stuff together later. But we just want to get that kind of run down. We have the lower spoiler off already. So what we're going to do um, is, depending on your crash bars, we're just going to route this, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You have wiring here on this side, this wiring harness. We just run it right along the side of that wiring harness and zip tie it together. And then this is going to plug onto the battery. Sometimes these can be a pain, the nut drops down, and it's a little bit hard to get that on there. If by chance it doesn't hook up, um, a lot of guys have different stuff hooked to here, you may need to get a longer bolt. That's usually the worst case, just get a longer bolt. you can see maybe that nut just dropped way down on that. So that may not reach all the way down. That's why I have a little screwdriver here and we just put it under there. And that's the one thing I hate about this. That's why we actually take the whole spoiler off because this is a real pain. And you ask, why do we go right to the battery? We could probably hook it somewhere else. Yeah, you can, but this thing draws a lot of power and it's not a good idea. You want to hook it right to the battery. That's not quite tight, but it's good enough for right now. So that pretty much hooks up the whole amp. Now you're going to come around to the other side. You can put your grommets in. And they're 
you just kind of push them in. If you use a little screwdriver, you can get them in. But you want to put that in there, because like I said in the other video about the air pressure and everything, you want to make sure you block as much of that off as you can. Because it will give you better sound without a doubt. Okay, so now the grommets are in there. That'll hold your wiring. So you're going to take our speaker, and you can give yourself a lot more room now. So you can actually pull the wires way out here, and it'll work easier. We made that longer so you don't have that problem with like factory. Plug these on, and again, these are hard. Be careful putting them on. They're made to go on tight so they don't vibrate. Tuck your wire in, and I find top part of the speaker in first, and you just kind of finagle it in there. It's stuck. What you have to be careful is this um, base blocker is what generally gets caught. There you go. I'll just put one bolt in just to hold it for right now. Okay, we'll go do the same thing on the other side. just putting one screw in right now just in case we have to take something apart we don't want to tear everything back apart before we test it out Okay, so we'll come back in one second. Let me get my wrenches and stuff. We'll come back in one second and we'll hook the rest of it up. Okay, so what we did, we got all the wiring kind of put together. We zip tied everything up pretty good. We fixed that bolt on the battery. We finished bolting the speakers in. So now it's time to turn the key on and hopefully we have some sound. What we want to watch for is to make sure the left speaker, the right speaker, everything works. That's basically what we're doing right now. Once we de determine that that's good, we're all set. It's start putting stuff back together. It's that easy. The amp is preset by us when you get it. We really don't advise you to turn anything or change anything. It sounds really good the way it is. Once you start messing with stuff, warranty's up. We don't, we don't cover anything. If you blow the speakers out, which you shouldn't, they're, they're higher rated speaker than what we're dealing with with the amp. But you shouldn't have a problem. Um, one thing you notice, we're gonna, once we get the bike started, we're going to show you, we're going to zoom in on the dashboard so you can see the numbers because we won't be able to talk because it'll be too loud. But you can kind of see the numbers on the volume, the bass, everything still adjusts the same. There's nothing any different. We're just turning it on with a stereo. This bike has no antenna hooked up. It's, it's a bike we're working on in the shop. There's no antenna, so it's just a stereo. If you hook an iPod to it, it will sound tremendous complete difference with the iPod. One, trip, one tip I'm going to show you is if you've ever heard of something called Dynamat. Dynamat is a like a rubbery type tin foil backed type material. It's sticky. You peel the paper off the back and it's sticky. What this does is any gaps you have in here is going to reduce the sound quality. You have a big gap right here where the fairing goes on. When you're doing this and you're playing because you're, all your buddies are there and you want to hear how cool the stereo sounds, make sure you pop the fairing back on. If the fairing's off, you're going to lose a ton of sound quality. Make sure you put it on. You don't have to bolt it on. Just hook it on there and let it hang there. You will hear night and day difference of the quality of the sound. Most people don't tell you that. 
This gap right here, as the sound's coming out, it's also going up and you're losing the sound. You want the sound to go out towards you, out towards where you're sitting. This Dynamat, you can cut it with scissors, you can tear it, you can put it in these cracks, okay, and it sticks. You want to block these areas up. You want to take the Dynamat, tuck it in like that, put it in there, cut it, trim it, build it all the way around there. Make that completely enclosed so that the sound comes out. Any of these little pockets in here, sound's going to get trapped behind it and it won't sound as good. And I'm telling you, it makes a night and day difference. So if you want that premium sound, go down AutoZone. We also sell it on the website and we do it. So let's turn this on and we'll kind of show you what's going on. We'll zoom in on the dash so you can see it. The station that's never forgotten about the music. So hopefully they get over the commercials now and play some music so we can hear it. Here we go. or something. I don't know what your stock bike does. Most bikes, guys say about 15 is the max they can get. We could still keep going and then just keep tailoring the, the bass and the treble to what we want. Again, with an iPod, night and day difference on the sound quality. So we'll try it again, just kind of put it a good sound. Like I say, most people say 15 on their bike is pretty good. You'll hear 15 on this bike how much louder it is. how we move the treble and the bass and you can actually hear a big difference on how that's working but the sound is still pretty crisp and clear it distorts a little bit but again with these speakers we're not after the competition sound we're not after the loudest possible hurt your ear sound we're after a good high quality crisp clear sound when you're going down the highway you want to sit there you want to cruise so you can hear your tunes and not have distortion and be able to do it easily that's what we're marketing this kit to. It's to do it yourself or you saw how easy it took. I think basically we had, once we got the fairing off, we might have had 10 minutes in hooking this system up. So we'll turn it up and leave you with that. Thanks for watching.